All right, we need to talk about Fear the Walking Dead. A little bit of backstory. I stopped watching the show in season five. I think maybe halfway through it finally broke me, and I just could not watch the show. Now, it got to the point where I think it is, uh, my personal opinion and my personal tastes, absolutely terrible when it comes to the writing. Uh, season four, the end of it, uh, was the first initial cracks. And I'm a long time, for anyone new here, I'm a long time, lifelong zombie fan since my earliest memories. And I even make money discussing zombie, the zombie genre on the internet for years now. And it became painful to drag myself for an hour to watch Fear the Walking Dead. But then I figured maybe the story uh, played out and we're at the finale this upcoming Sunday. And if you binge it, maybe it's gotten better. The story has made more sense. And we've gotten new characters. And it's go it's gone somewhere good. So then I decided to check some social media. Now, there's two in particular. And I'm not cherry picking these. You can literally go on social media. This is AMC's, um, um, AMC's Fear account. And it is... It is unreal. It is unfriggin' real. I thought I would I would see fans saying, oh, yeah, oh, she's hot as shit with that butterfly knife, I'll be real. But I thought we'd see fans saying, yo, uh, maybe it got better. I can't wait for the finale. We're going to see a few fans saying, ah, it wasn't good. I hate it. Whoop-de-whoop. -whoop, this franchise is dead. That always happens, but it's unreal. The amount of fans who are not satisfied with anything whatsoever that's going on is unlike anything I've seen in years. This is Star Wars level of legendary outrage. Click on anything right here. What do you, you guys need to apologize to us for these damn camera episodes. Just painful to watch. Show is a disgrace. You should apologize to the fans for the god-awful documentary episodes. Showrunners should be apologizing to the fans for ruining what was once a great show. Why not apologize for destroying the show? The show writers should be apologizing. I guess this is a tweet about apologizing, but look at this. For hot garbage. Apologize for terrible writing. You can magically summon the storyline. Again, someone not happy. We got hashtag fire the showrunners. Uh, we got another one. Painful bad comedy. Hamming up every line. Showrunners, uh, so terrible seasons four and five. All down. All of it. Boring as usual. Almost not a single, not a single happy fan. Almost all of them. And like I said, I I'm not just picking this this tweet. If you think I, I just picked the one tweet that has all negative comments, let's go to any other one. What do we got here? Uh, you can't say suck it. Oh, that's right. This is a kid's show now. A boring episode. Um, f hashtag fire the showrunners again more we got someone who likes Sarah though and then uh, another person who likes Sarah but that's not much not much else they like other than Sarah and let's pick something that actually has some tweets on it here we go 31 31 re retweets or replies I should say derp derp the walking dead please stop making this show so bad I used to enjoy looking forward to every episode uh, absolute bullshit it should be Alicia doing what uh, work with Alicia's weapon. What else we got? Pain. I don't know what that is. Well, this is Alicia's new weapon. Oh, paintbrush. I guess she was painting a tree. I don't know. I didn't watch that one. I'm shocked they didn't just chuck rocks at them. This weapon belongs to Alicia. Yeah, fans not happy about that. Yeah, sorry. This season is unwatchable. Strand's killing skills are on point. There we go. One positive one. I felt very protective over it. Okay, so... Me watching Fear of the Walking Dead. <laughs> Slow season, too many characters. Please tell better stories. Boo, Alicia can fight. Uh, we need more Strand. Again, almost no disgusting violence. Uh, whatever. Get off the internet, bud. Almost no happy comments whatsoever with what's going on with Fear of the Walking Dead. It is unreal. The majority of fans, if you're quick reading these comments, the majority of fans are beyond dissatisfied with Fear of the Walking Dead. And I can't see AMC not acknowledging this sooner or later. Here's some recent ones. Did you miss last night's episode? This was just today. Matter of fact, this was a, an hour ago, two hours ago. Didn't miss it. It was awful. The show is so far off track and getting dumber each week. 
no get better showrunners. You completely butchered what what used to be my guilty pleasure, uh, guilty pleasure my of my beloved beloved show. I butchered your uh, comment, buddy. When there's absolutely nothing else, I'll tune in. Uh, half ass watch. Uh, hashtag fire to showrunners. Sadly, no, I watched it. Documentary style was idiotic and extremely boring. I hope the powers that be are ready are reading all our complaints. Exactly. There's no way AMC is not seeing this shit because right here it does two things. One, some of these fans are going to get sick of complaining, sick of hoping and waiting for better storylines, and they're going to bounce just like me. Lifelong zombie fan, I am your core demographic when it comes to anything zombie related. You want to shoot it in my direction because I will eat it up, you know, and I will follow it. Even when it gets a little weak or a little slow, I'm here. I love zombie stories. I love the zombie genre. No matter if it's uh, slow burns from uh, movies like that. Uh, that Maggie with Arnold Schwarzenegger, or it's 28 Day Later, nonstop ridiculousness, um, you know, action packed running around zombies. I'm here. And it got to the point where it felt like a chore for me to force myself to sit down for an hour just to watch an episode. These fans are going to leave. And now that I left, my Sunday nights are fantastic. I do whatever the hell I want for that hour. And at first I, I was invested and I felt bad. I was like, well, I gotta, I'm got i already invested. I got to keep watching. What about Morgan? And to be honest, I, I, I'm wasting those hours watching. All I got to do is listen and hear what people say about the episode. And I haven't heard a single spoiler. Like not a single one. People are like, oh yeah, they ran into this bad guy who wants oil. That ain't a spoiler. I don't give a shit. All right, someone wants oil. Oh, this girl hit her tapes. Okay, she hit her tapes. So what? Even when it comes to some character, Alicia, a uh, bigger character, she got contaminated blood on her mouth. They might kill her off. I was like, they're not doing that. Of course, she's still on the show. Same thing with some Grace character. Morgan and Grace, I guess they're building a, a romantic relationship. And then I guess she's dying now. But again, these aren't spoilers because none of it matters. So I keep I keep up with it based on uh, your comments in the comment section of our other live streams. But at the end of the day, it's it, it's like nothing and you just save that time. Anyhow, I know I'm now one of those annoying social media people, but this episode you're promoting is dreadful, just awful. The show is getting worse and worse with each episode. When are you going to fix this show? And he says, I agree with the Forbes article. I guess that, that was a negative review. Here we go with uh, Fire to the Showrunners. Again, nonstop negativity. Only two hours ago, not a single. Yes, I missed it on purpose. This person missed the episode on purpose. Not a single, not one positive comment. This is their fan base. This is their viewer base. This is crazy. This is like Star Wars The Last Jedi levels of disappointed and irritated fans. Now, the second thing that's going to hurt AMC and The Walking Dead in the long run, the first thing is they're going to get sick of ho hoping, like I said before, that it gets better and they're going to leave. The second thing is it's going to tarnish the brand. And we're already starting to see this. And this is where I think AMC is playing the most dangerous game. Because they're coming out with a third series that's going to focus on uh, younger, the younger demographic. And it's going to be the first generation born in the, the this new world in the zombie apocalypse. Now, we're seeing more and more fans saying fear is so bad. It is so terrible. Some of them don't even like The Walking Dead from 7 and 8, and they're saying it too, but The Walking Dead has gotten so bad. Why even bother watching the brand new show? We're going to wait a few episodes. Now, that's dangerous because it, sometimes if, if fans don't get into it and you don't hook them, and you want them to come out for the premieres, you want them to do this, that, and a third, you don't want them waiting. You don't want it not being a priority. And again, that's what started hurting The Walking Dead originally when it came to the ratings. They kept going on. And this is something I said a few years ago. And recently they came out and they were like, yes, The Walking Dead is not a priority. People are still watching it, but it's not a priority. They're not showing up right away to watch it when you have. And again, this isn't just about spoilers. It's not just you want to make it 
you fire content so they watch it it's part of it so they watch it and the internet doesn't spoil it later just like when uh game of thrones is on and and that's before it it imploded but people needed to watch it before they got spoiled on on spoiled on the internet it's different than that it's about being so interesting so fun so enjoyable that people need to sit down as soon as they get free time and watch the show. Uh, case in point, I am obsessed with, uh, well, I'm not really obsessed, but I freaking love, what, my all-time favorite video game is The Last of Us. You tell me there's a trailer, I will stop this video right now, apologize, and I'll go watch it right this second. There's an announcement coming out, I think it's a 20 minute, uh, it's gonna be in a news announcement tomorrow, and it's 20 minutes long, and I'm not waiting. I'm I'm gonna be right here at four o'clock. If if obviously there's nothing that I need to do, uh, I guess uh, family wise emergencies or for my daughter, I'll be right here to watch it. Not because I'm afraid of getting spoiled. No, because that interest, that enjoyment, I want to be. I'm dying. I'm hungry. That's a better way to put it. I'm hungry for that new content, that new Last of Us tease. And it's just a tease. It's not like an episode, a movie. It's not like, here's the game. I'm hungry for that teaser. Fans need to be hungry for the story and the content you're giving them. That's what makes it a priority. That's what gives you those badass ratings. And that's why fans show up day one, minute one, to watch your episode. And that's that hunger is going to make fans buy the AMC premiere. Uh, the, the fire content with the bonus features. We already discussed this. There's a load of, loads of shit AMC could do to pump up AMC Premiere. And from the looks of it, they're not doing much. They're starting slow, but they're not doing much. One of the first things they should have dropped was, we are the only place to get season six seven and eight of the walking dead with an uncensored negan all these new scenes unless of course they lied to us which i don't think so because greg nicotero confirmed it and so did jeffrey dean morgan and a few others and i don't think they're the type to lie not jeffrey dean morgan or greg nicotero i don't think they would lie about shit like that show the behind the scenes footage they have or or maybe they didn't record it but of when they did the um the uh the death scenes with all the cast getting clipped, you know? Apparently, they beat Greg Nicotero with the baseball bat, too. You're, you're telling me no one recorded that shit? Put that shit behind the scenes. I don't know why some of this shit isn't put out there, especially to beef up the digital service that they're trying to push. There's that. If they have uh, behind the scenes stuff with the cast, I'm shocked that day one, when they did the um, the death dinners, day one, I would have had it in my head to make a little recording of each, like an annual thing, like a ceremonial thing to take a little recording with, uh, not to record all the private moments or uh, you know intimate moments, but a little bit. You know, before dinner, oh, hey, everyone, blah, blah, blah. You know, record a little something special and then add clips of that. Do a montage over a 10 years, a decade. Come out with a decade of, of The Walking Dead with on the premiere service. With fire content to make fans hungry to jump on that. That's a whole nother topic. But I'm just saying, this is shit that I feel like they should be doing, but they're not. And Fear the Walking Dead is just staining the franchise at this point in time. Now, I'm not the, the one to sit here or the type to sit here and say, oh, you need to fire this person or you need to hire this person. That's not who I am at all. But I, I personally don't believe uh, the showrunners who have been running the show for seasons four and five, I don't think they're sitting on you know fire content. I think that their tastes just do not line up with the majority of uh, this fan base. It's just that simple. They were a bad fit. This proves it. The majority don't like what they're dishing out. Maybe it's a budgetary issue. I don't know because even if it's a budget thing, you would think there's there's got to be some ways to, to create interesting characters with no budget. Other people do it. Other really talented people do it. But what they're, what they're selling is just not what people want to buy. So I'm not the one... I'm not the type to call for people being fired, but I will say I don't see any other uh, other than them AMC hiring a ghostwriter. I don't see any other action. They're not going to magically come up with story that the fans want because look at how the fans 
feel about two seasons now. Uh, only only if it's written by David Erickson. I love The Walking Dead. I do, but fear is so bad right now. I don't know what's going on with this show anymore. Why is the writing so bad? Fear Season 3 was the last good season, and after that, the writing just became dull. I really hope this show gets better. Here at Fire the Showrunners, honestly, thanks to the ex-soap opera writers of this show, it should be renamed We Are a Freaking Stupid. <laughs> so we got only if... Uh, I started there. The show has its characters out scouting places in the first 10 minutes, but when they decide to move everyone and everything to one place, why bother checking it out first? It'll be fine. This show has become a bad joke. I'm not watching the finale either. Hey, Tar Man, uh, go ahead and watch that. Return of the Living Dead. Uh, in sad news today, this vibrant zombie starved to death after getting trapped in fear of the Walking Dead's writer room. He will be missed. No fans are happy about what's going on, and this has to come to an end. This is crazy. Not one. This was pure ass, this person wrote. This show is a laughing stock. Could someone take the freaking camera from Al and break it? Disappointing the place was full of walkers. Not one positive comment. And these aren't fans who want to come and hate and shit talk. You could clearly see that these are just fans who are fed up with the story and something's got to give. So, Fear the Walking Dead is either going to continue to lose viewers at a record level until this is a record low for anything that has to do with the walking dead and or this is going to hurt the franchise if not already starting already and i think amc needs to do something about this immediately dear amc you have created great content for many years but sadly fear uh, the Walking Dead, a show with so much potential, was destroyed when new people took over. It has truly become one of the worst series on TV at the moment. It's time to do something about it uh, before they start Season 6 production. The only thing they could do probably to save face is not fire the showrunners and hire a ghostwriter and then bring in someone, do something, maybe get with Scott Gimple, say, here you go, boom, and then have the, the showrunners, and this is best case scenario, go down the list and say, okay, but they need to stay in the lane of whatever the ghostwriter creates. All right, this is what we'll do. And then that way it saves face so it doesn't look like they're firing showrunners. Or, I'm sorry, but they need to be replaced. If they want this to be successful, they just got to replace them. Uh, Jonathan says... Who the F are these people? Can't even recognize Strand anymore. What have they done to him? What have they done to this show? What have they done to Morgan? Question mark. I wish the show had the direction. All they do is make some damn films while filming. So annoying. Nope. Don't plan on watching this garbage again. This was a waste of my time. Some of these are starting to sound like I read them twice, but hopefully I didn't. But if you go on the Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, the majority of it is negativity and I think this is, uh, f this has to, has to, ha I don't know. It, it's, if this was, and I feel if this was most other shows, either new or on the air, it would be in the news frequently. I think AMC is getting lucky that this is just flying under the radar because the fan base is at a maddening, in a maddening rage right now. A disappointed to an extent. It's a disappointment to an extent that I can't even remember the last time we had this many fans just not liking uh, what's popping off. We and what I mean by that is we always get a lot of fans saying, oh, "I don't like this episode" or "What's going on here?" But this is everyone, almost everyone. I feel bad for the guy running the account. Because he has no say over the story or nothing. I feel bad for him. Would you guys speak your geek down below? What do you think of Fear the Walking Dead? What do you think about the state of the show? The state of the fan base? Are you a fan out there who enjoys it? And if you are, do you legitimately... Yo, this is the bomb. Awesome. I love it. Or are you like, well, I'm enjoying it. I'm, in, I'm invested in it. I don't hate it. I don't want to be negative uh, with it. I, I would curious... I am curious to see or hear from fans that genuinely love it. And if you do, let us know what about it do you love? And um, just out of sheer curiosity, I'm curious. So thoughts and opinions in the comment box. I'm done talking. 
It's your turn. <laughs>